Over the past few decades, couples who have had difficulty conceiving children naturally have been offered new hope via fertility drugs and in vitro fertilization. However, these treatments often result in multi-fetal pregnancies, which present complications for both the mother and the fetuses. Some hospitals employ a procedure known as fetal reduction, in which one or more fetuses in such a pregnancy are eliminated. But what are the moral implications of this practice? The following question was posed to Rabbi Yitzhak Zilberstein, an expert in Jewish medical ethics, by Dr. Pinhas Usher of Hadassah Medical Center in Jerusalem. I was consulted about a case of a 34-year-old woman who is pregnant for the first time after hormone therapy. She's in the first trimester and is pregnant with seven fetuses. The primary problem in these situations is premature birth, which because of pulmonary immaturity endangers the lives of the newborns. The higher the number of fetuses, the earlier their birth will be, and the earlier their birth, the more serious the condition. The physician has suggested fetal reduction, and the question is whether it is advisable, permitted, or forbidden to perform this procedure. In 2011, the New York Times published the story of a woman who was 45 and pregnant with twins via in vitro fertilization. As Jenny lay on the obstetrician's examination table, she was grateful that the ultrasound tech had turned off the overhead screen. She didn't want to see the two shadows floating inside her. Since making her decision, she had tried hard not to think about them, though she could often think of little else. As the doctor inserted the needle into Jenny's abdomen, aiming at one of the fetuses, Jenny tried not to flinch, caught between intense relief and intense guilt. Jenny's decision to reduce twins to a single fetus was never really in doubt. The idea of managing two infants at this point in her life terrified her. She and her husband already had grade school age children, and she took pride in being a good mother. She felt that twins would soak up everything she had to give, leaving nothing for her older children. Jenny desperately wanted another child, but not at the risk of becoming a second-rate parent. Referring to the reduction, Jenny said, this is bad, but it's not anywhere as bad as neglecting your child or not giving everything you can to the children you have. Is fetal reduction moral in either of these cases? May we sacrifice one fetus to save another? What do you think?